back to Elite Fitness for another workout. And I'm looking a little scruffy today, guys. This whole stay at home thing, I'm getting a little lazy. But you know what's not looking rough? Look at this behind me. Is that great? Uh, got the logo up on the wall. If you followed these, we've had a green wall back here, we've had a plain white wall, and now it's evolved into something that looks kind of neat back there. So, Caleb, thank you. My son did a lot of work to get this vinyl that goes on concrete, and uh, what a great job. Thank you, son. Uh, guys, today, <laughs> speaking of the rough look, we're going to do a two by four workout. How about that for construction, huh? So, we're going to do two sets of four different exercises, and we have three circuits, so it's a two by four by three, okay? So we're gonna get started here, guys, and real quick, uh, I'll list the items we need to gather up here. Um, we're gonna need a chair or a bench today. We're gonna use it quite a bit, actually, today, okay? We're gonna need probably, uh, you're gonna need some gallon jugs, I guess, or some canned goods. We're gonna do some front and lateral races, so don't need real heavy weights. Uh, guys, we're going to do some rows, so we've used backpacks in the past, or you can use gallon jugs, or if you have weights at home, use the weights, okay? Uh, we're also going to need a, uh, a wall, actually I'm going to use a pole, but we're going to need a wall. Um, so that should be our inventory list. Guys, we're going to get started right now, so our first round, guys, of our 2x4 is going to be, um, sit that over there, is going to be our core and our warmth, so we do that a lot. So we're going to use our core... Uh, and some different plank movements to get the body really warm for our next two circuits after that. So, guys, we're going to come down to the floor. We're going to lay down. Guys, we're going to start off with legs up, okay? And, then, guys, if you have some issues with your lower back, um, you can always bring your legs down. So we're going to start with the legs up. We're going to do alternating crunches. Hands are behind the head. Don't pull the head, guys. We're going to roll up, squeeze the core, back, one, up. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine. 10, up, 11, up, 12, up, 13, bang, be that core work a little bit, 14, up, 15, let's get 20 of these, up, 16, up, 17, up, 18, 19, up, 20. Guys, we'll bring the legs down. We're rolling over, guys. We're going to go into a plank, all right? So we're going to do a, we're going to do a low plank to an up plank, and then we're going to do a, a T raise also with those, okay? So we're going to get maybe 10 to 15 of these to kind of get the, uh, the core warmed up. So we're going to start here. Remember our position, guys. Arms directly under the shoulders. So we're here. Also, we're going to start, guys. We're going to follow a sequence. So on this first round, we go left, right, left, right. Second round, we go right, left, right, left. Okay, so we're up, guys, and we're gonna go left, right, and then we're gonna do a raise and a raise, down, down, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good. Left, right. Left, right, and we'll get, I guess we'll go 10 here, guys. That's four, left, right. If you want to do more, guys, feel free. Five, six, seven. Getting that upper body working. Eight. Nine. All right. Great 
job. So, we're rolled over here, guys. We're going to do alternating flutter kicks now, okay? So now we're going to try to focus a little more on the lower abs. Let's get 20 each leg. Hands behind the head. Legs are up. And I like to roll the shoulders up, guys, to just make that core tighten a little more. I'm not putting stress on my neck, just holding the head. We're going to drop a leg, come up. Also, when you drop a leg, you're going to have to roll with the floor. You can stop at 30 degrees or 45. I just don't want to feel that back strain at all. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You really feel pulling here, guys. Ten, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, guys, feel that. Feels good. All right, so now we're going to do a side jackknife. So, guys, we're just going to lay on the side. Hand behind head. Be careful, guys. A lot of people want to pull their head with this. So you want to keep that kind of relaxed here and not putting any tension on the neck. Legs are straight up. Hand across the abs. Top hand behind. Guys, if you can see my feet, they're elevated. And all we're going to do is just crunch up. And that can feel it right in here. Two. We'll get 20 of these. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, so there's not a lot of movement here, guys, but you can really feel it. 10, try to leave with the heels slightly. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, guys, we're gonna spin around. Top hand behind the head, bottom hand across the abs, and we're going 20. One, leading with the heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, guys, we're going back to the legs up. And guys, I didn't stop my watch, so we're gonna put on strength training, and we're good to go. So we're laying back here, gotta get credit for our work, you know what I mean? So we're laying back, legs are up, hands behind the head, guys, another 20. Remember, don't pull the head and neck, so we're just crunching, to one side, and then the other one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, Way there, guys. There's 11. We're gonna go up 12, up 13, up 14, up 15, up 16, up 17. Keep going here, guys. Almost there. There's 18, or right there, 19. Up, 20. All right, guys, we're going to go low and up plank, okay? So, guys, last time, if you remember, we went left, right. So, this time, we're going to go right, left, okay, as we go through this whole sequence. So, 
position your arms correctly, guys. We are here, and we're going to go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Good. That's three. Way there, our knees now. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Great job. So guys, we're laying back. We've got our floor kicks again. So I'm going to lay back. Hands are behind the head. Roll the shoulders up. Legs are up. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there guys, hang in there, two more, last one, alright, legs are down and we're to start, our side jackknives, guys this is the last movement, of the first circuit, okay? We're up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, all right, we'll spin around, and we'll get 20 on this side, all right, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, great job, guys. I'm hopping up, and we're going to start our first uh, strength circuit, I guess you'd call it. Okay, so we're going to start with um, some push-ups. And what I want to do, guys, is if you need more of a challenge, we're going to use a chair or a bench to get your feet elevated, or... If you don't need that extra added resistance or challenge, you can do push-ups from your knees, okay? So we can vary your reps too. So if you're trying to build more strength, maybe you want to keep your reps a little lower, and that would be doing push-ups on your toes, maybe elevating your feet up to make it more of a challenge, okay? So I'm going to put my feet up, and I'm going to go for like, I don't know, 10 or 15 reps, and we're going to kind of go through the workout in that fashion so we can alter your resistance, all right? So... Get in your comfortable spot, whether it's on your knees, feet, or feet up. And let's get this thing going, all right? So I'm going to start here, guys. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to come down into a push-up. Hey, remember when you're doing your push-ups, real quickly, sternum, guys. 
is between the hands. I see a lot of people want to bring their head between their hands. Guys, this puts a lot of stress on the shoulders, so we're trying to relax the elbows, so don't put the elbows out real wide. Relax those elbows, drive up, push the hands through the floor, sternum between the hands, and you're gonna feel those pecs, a little bit of triceps, and a little shoulders too, okay? So here we go. We're here, I'm gonna put my toes up on a bench. I'm gonna make sure my sternums are coming between my hands, and we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, guys. So we're gonna come up. The next exercise, we have a little variable we're gonna throw at you guys, all right? So we can do one on rows. We do a lot of those. So we've used backpacks before with more weight if you need more weight, water jugs, dumbbells. So guys, the one on rows, remember those. You can use a chair or a bench. I'll use a chair here for a second. So you can pull up to the hip with your one on rows. But what I'm gonna do today for something a little different. If you have a doorway pull-up bar, or in my case, I have a beam, we're gonna, I'm gonna try some modified pull-ups, guys, which will be kind of fun, all right? So again, if you don't have this or a doorway, go to the rows. We'll get about 15 to 20 on each side, okay? This is just an alternative if you want more of a challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a modified because there's not a lot of grip here, and guys, almost anyone can do this. You can put a chair in front of you, okay? And what we can do is we can grab on to your beam, put one foot here. I'm gonna put a foot on top of the chair. The trick is to push straight down. This chair will tip over very easily if I start to push forward. So we're gonna try to push down. So I'm gonna grab this, and we'll do a handful of these, you know, just for something different. Okay, so I'm gonna put my foot here, but I don't wanna push forward. So I'm gonna make sure that I use my foot for assistance just to press down, and I'll bring this foot up. Two. Guys, that's good. And you can kind of see the chair once in a while move, so be real tender when you're pushing on that. Okay, so that kind of gets the back working a little bit. Feels kind of good to get something in. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I've got these water jugs here. We're gonna throw a little bit of legs in here, guys. And listen, we haven't done this one before. I don't think on any of the videos. So we're gonna do about 15. Watch your knees on here. Alternating lunges, okay? With a little jump, okay? So I'm gonna get in here, guys, and we'll count on these. As we go, just remember your good form and technique. Guys, if you're not comfortable doing the jump, just alternate them, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just start doing a little hop, okay? And about 15 of these. I think it's about 12, 13, 14, and 15. Whew. Okay, so guys, shake those out. We're gonna go to a wall set, okay? And uh, we're gonna do a 60 second version of this where we break it up. I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna set a timer here, all right? So, I'm gonna get my stopwatch, guys. So I've just got the regular stopwatch here. I'm gonna go to this beam, and we're gonna come down halfway to parallel. So I'm gonna come down halfway to parallel. I'm gonna hold it for 15 seconds. I've got my watch here. At 15, we're gonna drop down. I'll try to put a timer up here for you guys. I can figure that out. Okay, guys, we're at 15. Coming down. We're gonna get the parallel. 
It's going to hold that. If you need help, guys, put your hands down on your legs. That'll help. Okay, we're at 30. Come up halfway again, so you're still kind of engaging those legs a little bit, but a lot of tension's off. We're holding this. About five more seconds. Okay, guys, 15 more hard ones. Hold here. 10. Five, three, two, one. Good job. All right. Guys, shake them out for a second, okay? Move that over. Okay. We're going back, guys. One more round of this, okay? So I'm going to go back to the push ups. Again. Use the appropriate push-up for the resistance level that you'd like to use. I'm going to go back on the feet up. We're here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. We'll get up. Again, remember, we can go to the rows if that's what you need to do. Great exercise. I'm going to switch around here and get another set of these kind of modified pull-ups. Okay? And remember, try to push straight down here. So I'll climb up. We'll grab the beam. Almost like a little monkey grip on here. All right, we're here. Try and push straight down. Once in a while, you might see it move a little bit, but try to catch yourself, okay? And we don't want to get hurt doing this. So, when you're, guys, you need to put a little weight on here. If you have some weight, that would help a lot. This chair is super light. So, we're here. We're going up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. that out of the way. All right, guys. Catch your breath. A little aerobic here. We're going to do the alternating jumping lunges, okay? Or just lunges, okay? So, so on the right leg. And here we go, guys. We're down. One, two, three, four. Six, eight, nine, ten. There's twelve, thirteen. Woo! All right. You'll feel those. I want to get a shower away. You guys, if you drink, you get a little sip of water if you wanted to. I'm gonna get my stopwatch again. All right, I've got my stopwatch set. All right, let's go halfway down to parallel. So you envision parallel, we'll come half that distance down. And I'm starting. All right. So 15 seconds here, and then 15 seconds parallel. We're at 12. Okay, we're settling down. Good. If you need, need help, guys, you can put your hands on the legs, get a little assistance. I can really feel that working. Five, three, two, one. Come part of the way up. Hold it. Try to get deep breaths, guys, in your nose, out the mouth. Three, two, one. 
two. Feel it already. Here we go, guys. 15 seconds down about this parallel point. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're up. Oh, man, guys. It feels good. Okay, guys. Again, you need a drink, guys. Who can grab a drink? What we're going to do next. So, we've gone through our core warm-up circuit. We've gone through our first strength circuit. Okay, now we've got our third circuit. Okay, and we're going to start with working those shoulders just a little bit. So, don't need a whole lot of weight on these guys. We're going to do a front and lab raise. I'm going to use some milk jugs. Okay, so we'll get about, I don't know, eight or so each way. I guess eight to ten is kind of a good number here. So, we'll grab the jugs here guys, a couple deep breaths after those wall sets, alright, guys here we go, we're up, one, up, two, nice and slow, three, up, four, up, Five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, one more, up, ten. All right, guys, I'll set these down right here. If we remember, I think it was two workouts ago. Guys, we can't get the shoulders warm. So we're gonna we're gonna do an inverted push-up toward the shoulders. So we're gonna do a, a pipe push-up. So we're gonna get the feet maybe a little wide in shoulder width. Get in a push-up position. You're gonna look down between the feet to the top of the head. It's gonna go towards the floor. Okay, trying to simulate a shoulder press. So we're here. Okay. I'm gonna look down. And I'm coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, hey guys, come up slow. Might get a little head rush from that. Okay. Hey guys, if you don't feel like doing that, you always take your jugs, press over the head. I guess I should have said that before, okay? So we are going to drag a chair over here, guys. And we're gonna start off, I'm gonna use these jugs. We're gonna do a line, try some extension, and then a hamstring curl, back to back. So guys, remember the jugs here. I'm laying back, and pinkies up, pinkies up. And guys, we're gonna extend so the arms are slightly back. Try to keep the jugs pointing towards the ceiling. Don't turn them over at the top, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. And if you have weights, guys, you could always use the weights you have, okay? For more resistance. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, really tighten those arms, 19, 20, I'll set those down guys, and I'm going to scoot the chair, kind of tight to the body, okay, our heels up, we did this one also not that long ago, we're going to do a we're going to do a bridge or we can call it a chair leg curl. So we're trying to focus on those hamstrings, guys. So you put your palms down, squeeze up and really tighten those. One. And if you need to, guys, you can even put weight here, you know, on the hip line. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
driving the heels toward the floor. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good guys, you should really feel those working those hamstrings, okay? So this circuit isn't quite as intense as the one before it, but you still should get a really good workout in there. So guys, we're gonna start our last, last round here. So I'm gonna grab these jugs, okay? Eight to 10 frontal laterals. Here we go, we're up. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, don't lock the elbows. Six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, and ten. I'll set these down. Guys, we have the pike push-ups next. So while my shoulders are still warm from those frontal laterals, I'm going to come down here. And we'll get these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Whew. Guys, I felt those. Oh. Wow. Okay. Guys, we're coming right over. Only two exercises left. Let's get these triceps. So these all kind of complement each other, guys. Okay? So we're gonna grab the jugs. And we're extending up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Set those back. Guys, I'm starting to work up a little bit of a sweat. Let's bring this over. So guys, we have our last exercise of the day. Isn't that great? Let's pull up those hamstrings. One, two, you can even stop right before you hit here. One, two, three, so I'm not going to touch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, guys. Really feel those. All right, I'm going to slide over here, guys. It might be a good idea when you're done with those while you're on the floor. Bring both legs out in front and just stretch those hands. I'm just going to lean forward. So, guys, I think that was a no-cut workout. So we just, we cook right through it. No stopping. Um, other than you with something to cheer over a couple times in the pull-ups, it went pretty smooth today. Stretch those hamstrings, guys. Hey, it might be good to do a little back stretch, a little chest stretch. One more across the front. Guys, that was a great workout. Listen, if you followed through with this, um, you can make that as intense as you want. Just decrease your rest between exercises, and it really ups the intensity of that workout. So I thank you for joining me. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.